I'm going to discuss the different types of trailers for hauling your tractor on. I'm going to discuss about a single axle trailer, then a landscape or utility trailer, a car or equipment trailer, and then last a dump trailer. Typically a single axle trailer has a gross weight of 2990 or less. So if you have a subcompact tractor with a mower deck and fluid in the tires, you're pretty much maxed out on the capacity of the trailer. Then you don't have any brakes on your trailer either to help you stop. So a single axle trailer is really not a very good option for hauling a tractor on. And then with the utility trailer, this trailer is known as a utility trailer or a landscape trailer. With the utility trailer, you have a rail all the way around the sides of the trailer. A lot of the times I've found that the rail is in the way. You cannot set a pallet over the side of the trailer. It makes it tough to climb over because you have to step over the rail that's usually a foot high. But it can be nice to secure your load to at times. But the rail is pretty light duty so you can't really pull a chain or ratchet strap too tight or you'll bend the rail on a trailer. And then the rear gate sometimes can be a hindrance because with the rear gate stuck up with the load on there you cannot let anything overhang the back of the trailer so if you need to haul like a tractor with a rotary cutter which would be pretty long and it need to overhang a foot or two you couldn't do that with this style trailer. The gates also on these trailers can be light duty so if, you can, if you're considering getting a utility or landscape trailer get one that has a heavy duty rear gate preferably made out of box tubing around the perimeter and then some even have runners in between here where you're mainly going to be driving on to help strengthen it. Also with the rear gate up it creates a lot of wind drag which most trailers you can fold the gate down when you're running empty but of course with the load on there you're not going to be able to fold it down. And then if you are considering a utility trailer check with a local dealer instead of looking at a farm store or home improvement center because for about the same money you can probably find a trailer of better quality. Also with the rail on a utility or landscape trailer it makes it very difficult to haul a car on there because your car door won't open. A lot of times people just roll the window down and crawl out the window. The next type of trailer I'm going to talk about is a car trailer. This one has a full deck meaning it has a full floor. One with an open deck has an open center which is good for hauling a car because it makes it easy to tie down with the open center but your tractor may be narrower than the runner so your tractor would fall through the floor of the trailer. Open decks are pretty much only good for hauling cars. Couldn't haul building materials or something like that easily on them with the open center. This trailer also has a wooden floor in it Metal floors, when they get wet, are very slippery. Wooden floors are not quite as slippery, but a wooden floor will rot up eventually. If you're looking at a car trailer, be sure it has stake pockets on the side. The stake pockets are great tie-down points. So you can easily hook a chain through them, or you can get stake pocket tie-downs for using a ratchet strap on them. Car trailers don't have ramps sticking up on the back, so there are no obstructions. So you could let your tractor with a rotary cutter or something long overhang if you had to. This trailer, the ramps are stored in at the back. They slide in. This one also has smooth runners on it, so a car can easily be driven on it. You could easily haul a lawnmower on it, um, zero turn, whatever. Some car trailers, the ramps slide in from the sides. This trailer has on the back of it what is known as a dovetail or a beaver tail. It is two feet long. It helps give you a little bit of a better loading angle. Then whatever kind of trailer you're looking at, if it's a car trailer, equipment trailer, utility trailer, dump trailer, whatever, I recommend you skip the 7,000 gross trailer and go for a 10,000 gross. Usually a 10,000 gross trailer just has heavier duty axles, wheels, and tires and they're only a few dollars more so it's money well spent. Now the main differences between an equipment trailer and a car trailer is they're made out of heavier channel. This particular trailer has 
five inch channel, if it was an equipment trailer from the same manufacturer, it would have six inch trailer. I mean, six inch channel. But this trailer here handles a full load just fine. So I don't see where it would be necessary to have an equipment trailer. Then equipment trailers always have ramps that stand up at the back. So again, you couldn't let anything overhang. But one advantage to the ramps on an equipment trailer is they have the legs that stick down on the ground. So when you start to load the trailer, they touch on the ground so you don't pick your truck up off the ground. That's why this trailer has the jacks on the back of it. I have a video just on the jacks that I will include in the video description. Both equipment and car trailers are easy to step on the sides because there's no rail or any type of obstructions. And then without obstructions you also, unlike the landscape trailer, it's easy to secure your load. Some equipment trailers have an angle frame somewhat similar to this utility trailer, just heavier duty. Even though they don't have the rail on it like this utility trailer, you really can't set a pallet on there, at least easily, because the angle sticks up higher than the floor on the trailer.